Well, set up here at Tugman. It's morning. It rained this morning and it rained last night. That was pretty nice. Got a little condensation in the tent because of it. No leaks or nothing. Stick nice and dry. So there's a grocery store a couple miles from here and a supposedly a laundromat. So I'm gonna go take care of business. I'm staying here for two more days. I'm gonna take uh, some time off and let my legs heal. Kind of swollen. Don't know if it's like edema or what, but yeah, they're mad at me. So I'm gonna take give them a couple days to rest and uh, get caught up in some videos. Yeah, I made a video last night. So no, actually this morning I woke up at four o'clock this morning and made a video. Went to work. So I have seven seven more videos to get caught up. Let's see what I can do in two days. Got a nice little charging. Um, there's boxes way up there I didn't see when I came in. But yeah, and I got a lock from the ranger so I can lock up my shit in there and charge everything. Yeah, it's very cool. And then find out there's a laundromat and a grocery store a couple miles from here. Like, oh, sweet. So, all right, style in. Check it. Well, cruising into town to find the laundromat, I came across this place almost right away, man. Coffee. Like, yeah, Coffee Central. You know, picnic tables out here waiting for me and everything. I am out. Yeah, man. It's looking very nice. So, I'm on my second cup and then I'm gonna go find that laundromat. Pretty God, it's open. Well, yeah, it says it's open, so it's open. Ah, see you there. Another cyclist. There's another one. All right, let's go find that laundry man. Turn left on the North Eighth Street. So I was just sitting here doing laundry, you know, killing some time, it's raining, just a light rain, you know, there's the office, I went there to got my laundry soap, <laughs> pizza, but yeah, I bought a shirt, I figured it'd be a good cycling shirt, I like that, the colors on it, it's not too bright, but it's eye catching, and it's a good souvenir. Osprey Point RV Resort, Lakeside, Oregon. Yep. Let's see, let's see if we can zoom in here. Oh, these GoPros, they're not known to zoom. But yeah, nothing but RV sites all the way around this whole place. It's pretty cool. I wonder what they charge. 
And that one RV site over there has three tents in it as well. Interesting. Let's move here. <laughs> That's cool. That's way cool. I wonder if they allow someone just in the tent. And what they charge. Just come here and kill a few months, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I was just thinking about uh, how the biking hike biking hike hikes have changed over the years from uh, the last time I was at the bike and hikes last time I rode the coast. It was 23 years ago. And uh, yeah, these days, it's, it's quite a bit different. It changed a lot in 23 years, believe it or not. Back then, it was, you know, everybody was having a good time. You know, there's a lot of people drinking, believe it or not. Not anymore. I haven't seen a single person drinking. Although I see alcohol left behind at the bike and hikes, but... Yeah, these days it's kind of eerie. You know? Everybody's just so quiet and silent. It's, it's like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> I didn't expect it. You know, I expected the way it was 23 years ago, more like that. Where everybody's all talkative and having a good time, you know. It's not like that anymore. But it's cool. You know, it's cool. Everybody's totally respectful of everybody else. You know, it's, it's like I heard somebody else say, we're all part of a family, this weird family of endurance athletes, and nothing but respect. I don't know, it's, it's pretty cool. So anyways, enough of the chat while I do laundry, I will uh, catch you down the road. Down that road. So, I'm in Lakeside and I pulled into 10 Mile Grub. Man, they got quite a selection of food in there. It smells so good I had to pull in. Look at that. Look at them little oh, seasoned fries. Third pound cheeseburger. Lettuce, tomato, onion. Pickle if you want it. Mmm, real food. I mean, 10 bucks? That's a great deal. This is all hometown cooked, you know. The real McCoy. So if you ever camp at uh, Tugman State Park, it's only like a mile and a half or two miles, something like that. Really short, just right into town here. They got a little grocery store. And uh, 10 Mile Grub is right by the grocery store. So, might as well stop in and have some really good food. <laughs> Why not, right? Right. All right, here's the 10 Mile I just stopped in. I had a burger, it was only 10 bucks, and it was the best burger. It was the best food I've had since I started the trip. And it's right across the street from the McKay's grocery store right there. And yeah, this was better than a gingerbread house on the 126, and I thought that was awesome. But this place rocks and rolls, man. If you're riding the coast, stop in here and get some real food. Yeah, real food, man. Swing on in, get you some. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Now do something adventurous. Go take a bicycle tour.